So in this video, we are going to see how we can create service definition and uh, service binding. And we will also see what are these two things and uh, how we can compare this thing with old implementation, how we do. Let's start first creating the service definition for our application for that we need to go to our data definition and uh, it is not mandatory to go to data definition you can just create the service definition as well directly but let's create it uh, through the consumption view of root entity so right click on this and click on new service definition now what this service definition is you can compare it with like exposing the entities as a service so whatever entities you have created you are basically going to expose those entities in the service it is similar to what we see the entities in odata service so that's what we are going to do here let's provide a name here let's copy this and uh, since this is a service definition let's put sd here service definition and uh, service definition for student okay source type is definition we are not doing an extension currently but probably in future videos we will see that option as well so this reference object click on next now provide the transport number service define a service and click on finish now we got our service definition created and you see this was the reason why i click on the consumption view of our root entity and then created it so it provided us uh, a value default value or the expose value as always we also provide a system alias so let's provide a system alias here as student and we also need to expose another entity which is results so that would be results unmanaged and provide the name results now let's activate this so our service definition is now created and it is active the next step is to create the service binding and uh, what service binding is you can correlate this service binding with uh, creation of sicf node basically if you if you have created the odata service and then we need to create the sicf node need to activate all those things or you can also compare it with at the rate odata dot publish annotation so whatever these two things does that's what we are going to do now we are creating service binding now so let's load full data and now once the service definition is created we need to create the service binding so for creating service binding right click on service definition and you see new service binding option click on this option and provide again the name now again service binding so provide sb and service binding for student now here are so many options different binding types we have already seen odata v2 ui and uh, we have also seen odata v4 ui web api we haven't seen but we will be seeing those soon as well so for this example again we will be using odata v4 ui and click on next and finish 
now we have created our service binding here but service information is currently not available here to enable the publish of local service endpoint activate the service binding first let's activate it our service binding is now active but still local endpoints are not published so to publish the local endpoint click on this link okay our service is now active and it is published as well we are seeing our service definition here and we are also seeing our service name here the binding type which we are using is odata v4 here and uh, these are our entity set and association available currently if you see here this is our service url now since we have got our uh, service created let's try to run this and see how it looks select on the root view and click on the preview button here okay so this is how our application currently looks like which is uh, similar to what we have seen and created in, in our managed scenario videos all of the columns are available here and we also have got set admitted button create button delete button adopt filter now let's try to click on go nothing will happen because there are two reasons one is we do not have any data currently and the other reason is we haven't created any record so let's try to create some record here and let's see what happens click on this yeah we got an error which is saying http request was not processed because batch failed and abap runtime error it, it is giving basically a short dump because since this is an unmanaged scenario we need to write the code for each and every operation which we want to perform in this application so system or application is not able to find proper stuff because we haven't started yet that's why we are getting this kind of dump click on close let's click on set admitted so nothing will happen because we do not have any record and we haven't done any code till now till now whatever we have seen most of you who are following my videos might be aware but uh, now let's start main work which we need to do and uh, let's start creating some classes and methods which uh, we will be using throughout this application now very first thing let's create a main class that will also contains all of our methods which uh, will have all the functionality of create edit delete let's start creating a class so right click on this and create a new abap class let's provide a name zcl underscore student underscore api let's do students api class students okay so this will be our api class and all of the methods which uh, needs to be created we will create inside this class and we will be calling those methods inside our rap application okay so this is the name click on next and add it to transport so our class is now created let's make some small changes quickly so very first thing which we are going to do here is uh, we will be creating a class method or most pro probably called a constructor for this class 
to create the constructor let's go to the public section and uh, create constructor class class method and then let's give it a name get get instance of the class and what we will be returning is an instance of basically we will be returning object instance and which will be type ref to our class okay so this is done now what it is saying implementation is missing so no problem let's create quick fix and uh, add an implementation for get instance okay see we got the method created inside the implementation and uh, let's add a small code here instance this we have our instance so we will check if the object is already available then we will not create that object otherwise we will be creating the object is bound if this is available then return mo instance else create a new one okay and that's it now what it is saying here the field mo instance but there is a field with similar name ro instance okay so mo instance we haven't created yet so let's create the mo instance first and uh, that will go in the private section here so class this will be our class data and mo instance will be type ref to our class okay done now the error is gone we have created the instance uh, instance method for our class let's activate our class now okay our class is now activated and available for us to write the custom code whatever we need now now let's quickly create some more types and uh, let's create one gt student and uh, this will be of type standard table of and uh, our student table what is the type z students um z students underscore um now one more thing we need to have is the same kind of table for uh, results so gt results gt results and type standard table of z results now let's activate now our class is activated and our initial data type and initial structure is also ready now in our next video we will be creating a method to create the student and uh, read the student data using unmanaged and uh, 
the language which we are going to use is entity manipulation language which is eml and if you are not very much familiar with eml what it is uh, we already have a series which uh, contains all the basics and uh, in this unmanaged scenario if you are not have gone through those videos i will recommend you to please go through those videos as well that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you